In lesson one, I will briefly remind you about the definition of catalytic capital that we introduced in the past module, but then introduce the main gaps that catalytic capital addresses. This is to explain when it is used. Catalytic capital, as most of you are already aware by now, is a subset of impact investing that addresses capital gaps left by mainstream capital in pursuit of impact for people and planet that otherwise could not be achieved. Catalytic capital investments are defined as debt, equity, guarantees, and other investments that accept disproportionate risk and or concessionary returns relatively to conventional investment in order to generate positive impact and enable third-party investments that otherwise will not be possible. Let's take a closer look at these elements. Disproportionate risk can take various forms, including investing in difficult markets or unproven solutions, extending your timeline as an investor or accepting an uncertain duration for your investment, being flexible, flexible with deal structures and accepting unconventional terms, or investing when there is a lack of track record, benchmarks, and reference points. Concessionary returns means that the investor is willing to accept lower expected returns compared to what investors would accept who are motivated only by financial return, which we shorthand as commercial capital. This can be achieved by accepting below market return expectations on equity or sub-commercial rate of returns on debt investments. Please note that there is an and or relationship between these elements. They may or may not occur together at the individual deal level, even though they most certainly do at the portfolio level. The other important element of catalytic capital is that the, uh, the, these investments have distinct investor contribution. In other words, the investments create impact that otherwise would not have been possible with commercial capital alone. Some examples of why catalytic capital gaps arise include, but, not, but are not limited to the following. Population, when there is the ability to reach underserved population demographics, place or the ability to reach underserved geographies, innovation or the capacity to de-risk novel products, services and financing models, early stage gaps by building a meaningful track record or adequate scale for a solution or a new team or organization. Business model entails a business model that has greater capital needs or contemplates lower profitability than we would consider for a similar non-catalytic investment or an investment that is smaller in size or requires more due diligence cost than we would consider for a similar non-catalytic capital investment. Resilience or flexibility in the face of shocks and crises. An example has been the financial support given to physical businesses during the COVID pandemic or historical biases in capital allocation. For instance, mar marginalization of BIPOC investees and communities in the United States or the exclusion or inv of investments in immigrants in Europe. 